In this video, we're going to talk about using ratio reasoning to convert units. So up at the top here, I've um, put the conversion factors that sixth graders would see on the MCAS. So these are the things that sixth graders are not expected to memorize, but you're expected to be able to use. So there's things like from um, how many fluid ounces are in a cup, there's eight fluid ounces in a cup, there's two cups in a pint, there's two pints in a quart, four quarts in a gallon. And then it shows conversions between gallons and liters, which is from a customary unit that we use in America, gallons to liters, um, which is a metric conversion. Okay, and then it has liters to gallons. Okay, so just taking a look at this, you can see some of the different conversion factors. Um, but notice that there isn't feet and inches or um, yards and feet because those are things that you are expected to be able to know at this point in sixth grade. So there are 12 inches in a foot and three feet in a yard. So those are things that you're expected to know. So I'm going to show you how do we use these conversion factors to change from one unit of measurement to another. Now this might be good if you are, say a recipe calls for a certain number of cups of milk and you want to know if the quart of milk that you are thinking of buying is enough has enough cups in it to um, use for the recipe. I've been doing this a lot uh, over this time as I've been making lots of homemade ice cream and we need um, two cups of heavy cream in the ice cream and so that is we can buy just one pint of heavy cream or if I get a quart of heavy cream, I can make two batches of ice cream. Okay, so here we have our first question is four cups equals X number or some number of fluid ounces. So what I'm gonna do for my first step here is to go up to my conversion factors and find where um, it tells me how many cups and like the conversion between cups and fluid ounces. So that's right here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to write this as a ratio. So um, since I'm going from cups to fluid ounces, I'm going to write the cups on the top over eight fluid ounces. So I got that right from up here. Okay. And, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say that this is equal to what I'm starting with. So since I put cups on the top of my ratio, I have to keep cups on the top of my ratio. So if they're going to stay equal, we have to keep the tops the same and the bottoms the same um, units. Okay, so cups over fluid ounces. And now I'm starting with four cups and I'm starting with some number of fluid ounces that I don't know. So I can use a variable there, so I'm gonna just use x. And now we know how to deal with ratios. We know how to find equivalent ratios. So what we're gonna do is we're going to figure out what do we have to multiply one times to get four? Well, we have to multiply one times four to get four. And since we're keeping it equivalent, we just multiply the eight times four. And eight times four is 32. So four cups of whatever you're measuring, let's say it's milk, is 32 fluid ounces. So four cups equals 32 fluid ounces. Now that FL stands for fluid because if you look over here, pounds can also be converted to ounces, but those are a measurement of weight. So fluid ounces is a measurement of volume. Ounces is also a measurement of weight if you're converting between pounds and ounces. For example, my nephew was born recently, and he, when he was born, he weighed 8 pounds, 3 ounces. Now, obviously, that was not 3 fluid ounces. That was 3 ounces of weight. Okay, let's go to the next one. Speaking of uh, pounds and ounces, let's take a look at this one down here. Just section those off. Um, so 2.5 uh, a pound equals how many ounces? Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I found the pounds and the ounces conversion up here. Okay, I'm going to write that conversion. Now, pounds is abbreviated LBS. And then ounces is OZ, so 16 ounces. So one pound over 16 ounces equals... And again, I have to keep the pounds on the top because I put the pounds in the top on my first ratio, 
and then my ounce is on the bottom. Okay, now I ask myself, what do I know? I know that we're taking two and a half pounds and we're trying to figure out the ounces. So that's going to be my variable, the number of ounces. And once again, I figure out how do I get from what I know to what I know. So one pound to two and a half ounces, I multiply times two and a half ounces, or two and a half rather, not ounces. And so I need to do that the same thing to the 16. Okay, so I need to multiply that times two and a half. Okay, now we can do this math out either by, you know, doing it out with the standard algorithm or we can think about, well, 16 times two is 32. And then I need to add a half of 16 to that, half of 16 is 8, so 32 plus 8 is 40, okay, so 40 ounces, so 2.5 pounds is equal to 40 ounces, okay, then we have another example here, 16 pints equals how many quarts, okay, so again, I go up here, I see, oh, the wrong one, not there, um, one quart equals two pints, Okay, so again, it doesn't matter which way I put it. One quart over two pints, okay, equals quarts over pints. Remember, you need to keep the same units on the top and the bottom. Okay, so one quart equals some number of quarts here. Two pints equals, we know, 16 pints. Okay, so this time I need to figure out what am I multiplying 2 times to get 16, okay, and that is 8. Now we could figure that out by doing 16 divided by 2, so we multiply this by 8, multiply this by 8, so there are 8 quarts in 16 pints. So this time our number went down because quarts is a larger unit of measurement than a pint. And so there are fewer quarts um, because the, they're bigger. Okay, and then our last example is going to require a few more steps. So 2 quarts equals some number of cups. So if we look up here, there's no quart to cup um, ratio. So we could go from quarts to pints here, and then from pints to cups. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so we have one quart over two pints equals, we know two quarts, so I'm going to do two quarts over some number of pints. Okay, so to get from one to two, we multiply by two. So I'm going to multiply by 2 again. So 2 times 2 is 4. So I'm going to stick that in here in place of the x. Let's pick a green here. So 4 pints. And then we need to get from this 2 quarts and 4 pints to um, the number of cups, right? So I'm dealing with four pints now. We don't need these quarts anymore. And we're going to do one pint equals two cups. Okay. Um, the pints have to go on the top. I know that we're dealing with four pints and some number of cups. So to get from one to four, I multiply by uh, four. And so I multiply the 2 times 4 to get 8 cups. Okay, so 2 quarts equals 8 cups. And there we have it.